showing you guys how to create outlines in your thumbnails just like the Ace family and Phase Rock. So this is a tutorial on how to do that and I really hope you guys enjoy this video because I have put it into two different ways you can do this tutorial and because I know that you guys might like one way better than the other so I want to show you with you guys both ways so you don't have to go on to do two different videos. So first of all go to Pixar, press the plus button and just pick the background that you want to use for your background of your, of your thumbnail. So if you want a blue background, and then put your blue background. Then go to add photo and then add your actual image you want to put the outline around. So I just chose this one, it's from the Ace family. And then I went to cut out and I pressed the outline button and I just made an outline around the both of them. And this is what's going to have the outline around them. So I was just trying to... Be careful with this because I know that you can restore things and erase things but I just wanted to save time and make this tutorial really quick and easy and let me know what you guys like better short videos or longer videos so then I can give that to you guys so then you don't have to watch long videos or short videos so if you're watching this make sure you comment down below which one you prefer so that I know you are a true subscriber and yeah so i'm just using the restore button to restore her arms and i was trying to erase some grass that was left in it and her head was cut out a bit so i just restored that and around the neck and the hair i just took that out that's optional but i then i just used the arrows on the restore and erase button to just change up the size so then i could erase like under his armpit and stuff like that and I'm just trying to be careful with this so then I wouldn't have to like do any other changes. I then went to shadow and went to the blur button and the opacity, changed that, went to colour and chose my background. So that's really simple. All you have to do is just change the background. So if you want like a pink shadow, then put a pink shadow. If you want like a blue one, put a blue one because I know that blues are in trend and pebbles are in trend. So I did those ones. I know that they use white a lot, so you can use white, but I just really liked this purple one, and then I just changed up the location of it, so I wanted to have it like on both sides, so I just wanted one, so then I just changed that around. And another way that you can actually do this tutorial is just going to your add photo button again, select your image you want as the outline, and then after you have chosen that, you learn to do the exact same thing as before, just outline it and you can restore things just like the other one. As you can see, I'm just quickly doing this and I just put this up for you guys and I'm changing the brush sizes to make sure that it was exactly on point. I then went to border and then I just selected the color border. So I used white for this one and then I changed it up a bit and I made it purple, I made it black and stuff like that so don't make your border too thick because it's not going to be an outline so it's something like around five or six percent is an appropriate amount for this i didn't really like these side cuts because it was a square image but yeah i hope you guys enjoy <laughs>